Hello everybody and welcome back to another deck deep dive. This time featuring the division that currently is all over the meta. It was played the most in the last tournament and it is really, really, really strong. Let's go into 2nd UK Infantry. Yes, you heard right, a British division in the top of the meta. And let's see what it is all about. And we have a lot of stuff to go through. Before I go in, one quick shout out to two tournaments coming up within the next couple of weeks. On the 24th of July, the next one monthly will start. And on this Friday, the 21st of July, we will have another Friday Night 1 where we will have a small 2v2 tournament and next to it an interview and a Q&A session with the Eugen devs over at Twitch. So come around. Uh, the Eugen map team is going to join us talking about all the new maps coming up, all their stuff. On the back end and maybe some other small bits, uh, bits and pieces here and there so come around and join us for that on friday all information's on the website so yeah let's go in logistics tab we have chinox we have bad forts we have rural cps relatively standard i really like the chinox as the uh, real line supply unit for helicopters for artillery also can resupply the bad forts nicely uh, with its 2000 supply it's quite efficient uh, way more efficient than the Puma, who, uh, which costs 45 and only brings 1,000 supply. Or 25 points more, you get another extra 1,000 supply here. So I like to turn up there a bit more, which is quite nice. You don't need a field supply point in this deck, I believe. And yeah, this this is fine. Infantry tab is where the strength of this deck lies, though. As you have a lot of strong units here, uh, especially these guys here, the SAS. Are fantastic. Stinger, AT4, and good carabine rifles together with shock trade and special forces really give them killing power against everything. They have great killing power against infantry thanks to all the trades combined with their submachine guns and their high veterancy. Uh, the AT4 is a good anti-tank rocket launcher and the Stinger is one of the best man pets and actually the best AA kind of you get in this deck. Like the Stinger is really really helpful at stopping enemy helicopter openers and Allowing your helicopters to stay alive, because it also can shoot down enemy AA helicopters and so on. Shoot down enemy planes that try to run for your helicopters. So, SAS, super important with their forward deploy here. And they absolutely are necessary to get spots on the front line. And, yeah, 84 here. I would take both cards. You can take, uh, you can choose now if you take one or two cards of SAS. I would say take them all and use most of them from the get-go. And then the other unit that can come in early and really can take space for you, and that is the strong point about 2nd UK, is the airmobile in Lynx helicopters. Uh, airmobile in general, pretty strong. They have the Law 80, which is an even better anti-tank rocket launcher than the 84 here. Uh, so you really have good anti-vehicle firepower in this deck. 20 damage, great suppression. So getting these guys up there in Lynx, and Lynx also being a decent transport helicopter as they at least have 6 hit points, so they can't survive one man pet hit. And these guys here, decent firepower all around and good anti-tank. Can take spots, can blockade the enemy from moving forward. And then you can follow that up with a leader. With the Iltis leader here. Uh, pretty good leader in my eyes. Also we can drag and drop now and I might put the leader here to the end. And then put the other guys here as well. Didn't organize that. But we can't. you can do that now in lobby which is really great. Um, yeah, then some... Warrior Milans, uh, which are really helpful. Uh, and armored rifles here, decent unit as well. Cheap unit that can move around. And the Warrior Milan here as a man. Uh, the IVs are not super great right now, might change soon again. And the armored uh, auto cannons should be a bit bigger. But with the Milan on top, this thing is quite nice. Uh, so, yeah. And then HSF at the moment, great because auto cannons are not that great. Um, the units like the HSF are fantastic because they can just move forward and basically move over the, the map without having to suffer uh, so much under out of cannons. So they hold a lot of damage. They can be quite nice on the flanks to use be used on the side there with the security trade to check for enemy units. Or you can just use them as mass wave in front of your challengers, in front of your uh, warriors, or even in front of your SAS just as a meat shield. So the HSF here, fantastic for that. And that's why they are in the deck. Assault Pioneers, they got a bit weaker. They're not as great as the ones were. Um, West TNT got nerfed quite a bit, but they're still decent. And then Milan 2, you need some ATGMs in this deck. 
Uh, I wouldn't bring them with Lynxes, but yeah, with Rovers. He, he, with the Assault Pioneers, you could consider bringing them in Lynxes, so just to have more stuff moving quickly around. Um, yeah, with the, this Airmobile, I'm also... I, I like them in Saxons here, one card, but Lynxes ones, you for sure want to have at least one. And yeah, this is the Infantry Tap. Really, really strong. Maybe the strongest in the game at the moment. Um, or for sure, quite high up there. Doesn't have flamethrowers, so I guess that's the one weakness. But all the CQC damage units got nerfed quite a bit, and special forces actually kind of beat them. So having the SAS here is quite key. Artillery, we only have some annoying, uh, annoying guns for the enemy with one, some 105 millimeters that can just be really obnoxious, and some mortars for smoke, which will be really important to get your infantry moving forward. And then tank tap, we have the chalice, we have. M48s. We have a Challenger commander as well, so C seven commanders in this deck, seven CVs, so you shouldn't be running out of them too easily. And the Challenger Mark II in general, a fantastic little tanky, uh, since they got price buffed. Uh, so these guys absolutely key. And you don't want to, uh, you want to take them on one vet, um, because you don't gonna bring seven around. You can, usually can't afford it anyways. And then M48s as your spam tank. Um, sadly, these M48s don't have a 50 cal on top, so they are not quite as great against infantry, but they still are nice as a frontline unit to just keep around having some sort of tanks to kill enemy IFBs to give some fire support from the rear. So M48s here still quite great. And then Rover Milans, we have Milan 2 on top to have some ATGMs moving around. Since ATGMs got buffed in speed and uh, stress and the smokes of tanks got nerfed both in area they cover and also in duration. ATGMs got a lot better and these guys here are really cheap so they are absolutely great at hunting down the enemy. Rover Milan highly highly recommended. Recon, you have some decent option here. You have some uh, Jäger of Clovers as some, some beefy units and some snipers for uh, being good at recon thanks to the stealth and also having that extra bonus damage which is really really great the th that they actually deal great damage with their sniper rifle is fantastic after standing still for a while uh, like they still deal great damage with this meanwhile foxes still the obnoxious little vehicles for the rear uh, can be nice to support your infantry pushes as well. They're not as fan uh, OP as they once were, as autocannons were nerfed and so on, So, um, but they can still ambush transports in the rear, they can still give you decent recon with your tank pushes and so on as well, so I would still recommend using them. Um, you could co uh, co maybe consider taking them out for some of these guys here, but I'm not the biggest fan of all of these units, so I'd rather use the foxes here in instead. AA? You have a lot of one cost slot, you certainly don't have any good AA to fill it with. But Javelin LML are at least a nice rapid fire that can help out against helicopters. Tractor up here, good against helicopters as well. Against aircraft they are okay-ish. Um, yeah, the rate of fire is a bit of an issue th due to the manual controls, manual guidance system. Up here FSA gives you at least a bit of extra range against aircraft, though it's not that massive and it is radar, so it's an can be hit by seed, and it's a bit too expensive for that in my eyes. Like, it should go down to maybe 95 points or so, uh, but it is still your lo longest range weapon, so you kind of should use it. And then javelins, just if you need some man pets, but your best man pets, as I said, in that kind of regard, are the SAS, as they also have more hit, have more hit points, so even if a helicopter gets on top of them, the helicopter won't immediately kill them, and so on. So SAS, they're a lot more reliable. So I only bring the javelins if I really ran out of SAS and I need to bring them around. And I bring them because they are one cost slot. That's the reason why. Helicopter tap here. Lynxes and gazelles. Or uh, gazelle rockets. Gazelle rockets down to six cards uh, per card. But they still are quite nice fire control. You kind of want to have two groups of th uh, three. They are still super cheap and they can wipe out enemy infantry squadrons quickly. They can be really nice on the flanks. And then with the... Chinook, you can resupply them nicely. We have seen them a lot in the tournament um, in that kind of style. Like They often were a bit too much thrown away, but some people really used them nicely, especially with the new maneuverability on helicopters. They're quite nice to use. And yeah, the Lynx Helam, since they went down from 80 to 55 points, are really good as well. Eight missiles, 
a good maneuverability, can take one man pad hit. So the Lynx here, really nice vehicle as well, really nice uh, ATGM helicopter. Not the strongest when it comes to damage, but the eight missiles are nice and the extra survivability is good as well. So that really helps out the Lynx. And then air tap. Since AA got, the long range AA got nerfed a bit, has become a lot better. Uh, the Jaguars and the Harrier attack aircraft can get through a good bit easier now, which in my eyes is the right way because uh, like I still wish we would have stress on AA shots so that it can be they can be deterred better. Hopefully that comes in the future. But at the moment they get through quite a bit more often and it's not as much a suicide thing as it has been before in the last couple of patches where AR was basically always a bad investment. That is not the case anymore. And so Jaguar HE, Jaguar Cluster and Harrier Rocket here really can bring some damage to the enemy, whilst the Harrier AA can down, uh, hunt down helicopters still nicely. And the Phantom is here for cases where you really need to stop an enemy from bullying your ground units where your other AA options start to lag. The Phantom is still not great, but at least has some long-range missiles. And it is relatively affordable for that, so uh, also it has a pretty nice look. But that doesn't really help you in its performance. Like your AA fighters are still not that great. Your air superiority options are not perfect. But the Harrier is okay in hunting helicopters and in numbers it can hunt down enemy aircraft as well. And the Jaguar is at least helping out a bit as well with some uh, AM9Ls. So the deck here in that regard has been coming a lot better since a got nerfed, but it's still for sure more of a support tap uh, for the ground than an air superiority tap, that's for sure. So, yep, yeah, a really strong deck, has shown a lot of strength there in the tournament, um, Has so I'm really optimistic that it will go on for a while. Uh, with Auto Cannon getting buffed, it most likely will get a bit weaker once they come back again, as its own options there are decent. Um, but other decks might be better there, so that is something that you have to take in mind But outside of that this deck here should be around for a good while as one really good option And at the moment it might be the top deck M Maybe sharing that with 35th air assault Which we're gonna go in in the next deck dive. So yeah, really really good deck second UK Highly recommend let me know down below what you think and if you enjoy this kind of format Maybe leave a follow leave a like and see you next time guys Bye-bye.